Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One, and I didn't want to include this with Boots on the Ground. I thought it was too important. I did not want it to be lost uh, because I want people to understand and, and know what's happening because it looks like this is a nationwide problem. Uh, but I received an email from a person. Uh, I work for the North Carolina Health Department, and we received two emails today, and they had me very concerned. The first, a notice of two-day required FEMA training for all staff. Upon hiring, we had to complete uh, several FEMA training courses on preparedness, uh, but this is new and different and strange. The press release were distributed today, and it said, uh, and, and she said, interesting, uh, that it's on the same day the CPI report came out. But yes, eggs are $8, bread is $5, and we're going to take away money from already hungry people chaos will ensue. Maybe that is why we're required FEMA training. So this is a person that works for the North Carolina Health Department uh, and she works, I'm not going to tell her job is, she works with women, infants, and children. So let's see what the report is. It says extra federal food benefits due to COVID-19 will end in a month. This came officially from North Carolina uh, press release. In North Carolina uh, and nationally, emergency allocations for COVID-19 for the food and nutrition program will end in March of 23, 2023. This is the extra money. So don't panic. It's, it's not all not going away, but extra money. Households that have been receiving extra benefits called emergency allotment each month since March of 2020 or after will see a reduction in benefits because of the federal change that ends the emergency allotment for all states. Now I'm going to say for all states. So if you live somewhere else and you receive this funding or you have loved ones or friends, uh, it sounds like it's government-wide, federal, all states. As part of the COVID-19 public health emergencies, families enro enrolled in the Food and Nutrition Service Program in North Carolina have been receiving at least an extra $95 per month since March of 2020 through emergency allotments. With the end of the emergency allotments, the average uh, FNS benefits per person per day will decrease from $8.12 to $5.45. So that's a little over $3 times 30 days is 90 bucks, and that corresponds with the 95. So I guess it's $95 per member of the household. These emergency allotments have been critical in helping people and helping families compensate for financial and economic hardship due to COVID-19. Now you could say it's economic hardship uh, and financial hardship due to the inflation. Families needed these additional benefits to get healthy and nutritious food through the pandemic. Um, since March of 2020, an average 900,000 North Carolina households received the emergency allotment, giving more families access to nutritional meals that support healthy and productive lives and brings approximately $150 million of federal dollars each month into local economies. So that's a lot of money uh, that will be definitely removed from those local economies because it's being removed from families. Uh, allotments. Beneficiaries will continue to receive their regular monthly benefits, uh, but not this extra part. So this isn't a discussion of, hey, these people deserve this money, or this is my tax money going to them, and I can't even afford food, and I'm a working man. That's not what I want the comment sections to turn into, please. Um, I'm just wanting people to be aware of this, because let's hypothetically, it sounds like it's $95 per month, and you have a family of four, you could be losing close to $400 that you are counting on probably uh, to feed your family. Um, now, how is this going to affect everyone? Uh, I think devastating. I mean, this person that works for the health department, and, and I think she must be something with Department of Social Services or something like that because she's working with women, infants, and children. Uh, her comments were um, that it's already hard for these people to eat properly uh, and chaos will ensue. Um, are these people going to be upset? And rightfully so. Uh, hopefully they knew this additional money was additional money um, and, and they know it's going to end eventually. And this isn't, you know, I don't want to get into the bay, ah, oh, they don't need this money or this is my tax money. Um, 
it's hard enough for working people uh, and some of these people are probably working folks that get additional help uh, and this is going to uh, be detrimental to them uh, it's going to be detrimental to a lot of stores if you think of the numbers that they said uh, approximately 150 million federal dollars each month into local economies um, now granted we are broke as a country and this is probably borrowed money that we'll be paying interest on um, so we're not here to debate if we need to do this the debate is what are these people going to do if they're counting on this money um, but i want them to know now because it will end in march so it could be march 1st it could be the end of march i don't know but i believe it'll probably be march 1st so technically they have a little bit left in january and they'll probably get one more check in february uh, and then they will be cut off. So if you know of anybody, inform them uh, so they just are aware. Hopefully there were lots of information sent out to these people and they know definitely, hey, this product or this extra program is going to end. Um, I get enough reports of people uh, not being able to eat properly. Uh, and this is just going to compound the issue. It will also make more stress on the local uh, food banks, the local charities, be it churches, be it uh, food banks, because if these people aren't getting a, a family an extra $400 and it's not there, uh, they're going to make it up by going somewhere and they could be going to the food bank, which would then cause more problems for the people that, that are using the food bank. They might not use this program, but they use the food bank. Uh, I get a lot of reports of, of people hurting. Um, I do get good reports, but the majority of reports that are coming in are people hurting financially. So I urge you, if you can help someone, uh, if you can donate, uh, it could be your time. You might be retired sitting at the house. Find out local charities, be it a soup kitchen, be it a pantry, be it anything, any program that assists people. Uh, you might say, Dave, I got no money to donate. You might have a few hours. Can you spend three, four, five hours? If you're retired, uh, volunteer. Get out there. Uh, help people. Uh, I think the best thing for a lot of people that are sitting at the house, uh, you know, being fearful or saying, man, the, the world's falling apart, be a, go out there and be a positive influence. Help someone. You'll also probably see people that are 20 times worse than you, and you'll be like, I can't complain. I got it good compared to those people. Um, continue to pray for that lady in Florida. Um, she's got evicted from her um, apartment and she has a daughter and grandchildren. Uh, I get tons of reports like this. It's so hard to, to know who to help and who not to help and I can't help them all. Uh, but if you can help someone, if you see an immediate need in your community, do something about it. I know it's gonna make you feel better uh, helping someone else. Don't dwell on your own misery because uh, there's people out there a lot worse than you. So tell people about this food and nutritional service program that's going to be ending uh, the additional amount uh, so people are aware and people can start preparing. Thanks for watching.